no freaking way, dude. There ain't no way that actually stopped quicker. You know, for a while now, I've just been really curious to know what would happen, what would actually happen if you sprayed your brake rotors with a lubricant like this stuff right here. What would actually be the outcome? I think the general consensus is that the car will stop a whole lot slower and pretty much be very dangerous to drive because you'll end up killing yourself. What? Or someone else. But with all the theories aside, I decided I wanna actually see what happens when you actually do coat your brake rotors with something like this. So with that said, I think we need to go ahead and get a baseline number on how the car performs as it is and then we can start having some fun. I'm gonna take my trusty draggy device here. We're gonna go ahead and record 60 to zero. Let's see how the car does. And remember, do not attempt to recreate anything you see in this video. I am a trained professional. Don't do it. All right, here we go. Let's see what the car does. 60 to zero. Never done this before. Well, that was fun. Okay, I guess let me see what the car did. 4.11 seconds for the car to go from 60 mile per hour to zero and a total of 179.67 feet. It's kind of bad for modern car standards, don't you think? Oh, well, at least it stops quicker to 60 than it goes to 60. So, you know, there's that. So I guess with that out of the way, we can finally start having some fun. Let me see what happens. So now the moment of truth, we go ahead and spray all of our brake rotors with some WD-40. That way everything's nice and lubricated and maybe we get some better stopping power. Who knows? So I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying everything down here. So I'm just gonna... Come on. What the hell's going on here? Yeah, oh, what the hell? The, the button's stuck here. I've never seen that happen. Okay. There we go. So make sure everything is nice and lubricated. Get everything nice and coated here. Uh-huh. And this will go around and do all four corners for max lubricity. Let's be real, I don't think there was ever a moment in my life where things were actually worse with better lubrication. Lube just makes everything better. Last but not least, make sure this one's all nice and coated too. All right. So now that just leaves us with the last and final step. Seeing what happens when you coat your brake rotors with WD-40. Florida man has died after a fiery crash on 195 East in Seekonk. So the moment of truth has finally come. Let's see what happens with WD-40 on the brake rotors. Honestly, I can't imagine it being any worse than 173 feet. Good God almighty, that is terrible. Anyways, here we go. Let's see what happens. Bricks, 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 bricks. Ah, oh, God. Ugh. Okay, okay, that didn't feel too much worse than it was before. <laughs> what? Dude, what? Hold on, hold on. No freaking way, dude. No way. There ain't no way that actually stopped quicker with WD-40 on the brake rotors. What? No. Okay, so to recap, right? To recap, it did uh, 60 to zero, right? 60 to zero in 4.11 seconds, okay? But it did it in 179 feet, it took the stop. That was before spraying anything with anything, right? So then with WD-40 on the brake rotors, according to Draggy, it was slower. It took a little bit more time at 4.12 seconds, but the distance was two feet shorter at 177 feet. How? 
There ain't no way, man. Wow, okay. That's not usually what was supposed to happen. I right, get out of the car here and take a look at everything, make sure nothing's on fire. <laughs> Holy crap, these somehow actually stopped faster with WD-40 on them. There ain't no way, man. There ain't no way. That's not how that usually works. What? God. I can't believe that, man. Holy crap. All right, I gotta go home and like just consolidate myself here. And I gotta, I gotta think about what just happened. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Okie dokie. Well, I'm finally back home. And well, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. I mean, okay, let's get our thinking caps on. Okay, uh, if brakes work off friction, okay, like that's how they work, create friction to stop the vehicle, then how is lubricating them, thus reducing the friction, create better stopping power? How? Maybe, just maybe, work with me here, brakes, when they create friction, the friction turns to heat. And then too much heat means less stopping power. You don't want too much heat. You want just enough heat. Not too much, not too little, just enough. So maybe under extreme braking conditions, okay, when you have lubricated brake rotors, the reduced friction reduces heat and then you actually stop faster. Maybe only on extreme braking conditions though. And mind you, even though these results were, <laughs> well, not what I was expecting, and no way do I ever advocate doing what I did in this video. Don't ever coat your brake rotors with WD-40. I, I can't believe it, man. I just can't believe that that's what happened. <laughs> they're still coated. They still got a coating on them. But they're, like, better? Well, this is definitely one for the books, because, um... That was not the intended or expected result of this video. In fact, I went into this video figuring just, you know, this was gonna take a whole lot longer to stop. This was a complete surprise to me. Goes to show you, you never know what to expect on the internet. Not one bit. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess, I guess there's not much more I could do here. Like I did what I came out here to do. And, well, you see the results. Let me know what you think about everything you just saw and answer this question for me. Put your thoughts in the comments. How did this car stop faster with WD-40 on the brake rotors? How? Let me know what you think. But I think it's gonna wrap it up here for this crazy video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with everyone you know. If you wanna see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep a lookout for next Cars Creative video.